Hi, my name is Ronald Johnson, and what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. Transis transitioning between success, career, relationship, and overall happiness. See, the more success you have, the more happy you feel and the more success you will have. Today's going to be about I was a shy, introvert, and shy guy. You know, when I think about shyness, I think about not really stepping into your comfort zone, unsure what to do. I was last kid to get picked at, you know, the Sadie Hawkins or the prom. I was the one that, you know, during lunchtime, I sat inside high school and I was inside the classroom teacher doing my homework. I was always the first one never to uh, join a football team. I was that shy, shy introvert and was really scared of this, it's being myself and stepping out of my comfort zone and doing things different. And, and more importantly, just afraid of the fact I'll be made fun of. Because that's what I experienced growing up is I was that overweight kid that was in sixth grade that weighed 205 pounds. I was made fun of. I was picked on. I was made fun of because uh, they say I was fat. You know, I, I was, was shy because if I asked a girl on a date when I was you know, 13 or 14, you know, we go through puberty as a guy, I was, you know, ah, Rob, we're great, but not as friends. Or the one that liked me, I didn't like them. So I made a big, big difference. So for me, this is a perfect video for those out there that are shy or that are the introvert, how to really own their own power and really just step out the comfort zone. And that's really, really important for me and important for you guys out there. So what I started doing in my life, I started really kind of taking action. And what I mean by taking action is the only way to combat fear, the only way to give up fear is take action. So a lot of times as I went through this whole transition in my life the last couple of years, I was, I was taking action over fear. And that's one way to actually step outside yourself because I was that shy guy is I was taking action, okay? Because the more action you take and the more action you have for yourself, the more easy for you to do it. So you take the first step and the second step. Just picture a baby when they first start walking, it's one step, two steps, maybe they fall, but they get back up, it's three steps, it's four steps, when you're, they're running, walking, and they're just unstoppable, okay? So this is what I start realizing. In order to achieve better happiness, I had to do things different and do things that in line with me. I didn't do things in line with the society or what people think I should be doing. I did things that made me happy. You know, I, I'm the kind of person that loves remote control air cars, I'm sorry, remote control airplanes, remote control uh, uh, cars and all this great stuff. Most of my people I know are not into that stuff. I'm not the biggest proponent when it comes to football or sports. I watch every now and then, but I'm not that person watch all the time. So I start just really realizing what makes me happy and you too. Remember, first step is take action with fear. Second step is what makes you happy and do those. When we start thinking to ourselves that if we don't do what the norm is, we'll be made fun of. And that starts playing our head over and over. But really, if you do the things that make you happy and do the things you actually enjoy doing, you actually have more overall fulfillment. And that's what's more important for you guys out there. Also, I realized, too, is that when I started stepping out of my comfort zone, getting more used to it, fear over action, that I actually, for myself, is I start learning. Not learning about what's around me, but learning about myself and what I could potentially do to help people. The more you help people, the more gratification you get. But I didn't realize my own potential. And how you realize your own potential is doing things that make you happy, doing things that make you feel good. Because most of the time, we have a society that tells us to focus on, oh, if you're bad at it, focus on it to make you better at it. Really, you should focus on things that you're good at because sometimes, regardless if you're you know, 50 years old now or you're 25 years old, you're probably bad at almost the same thing. But can you get better? Yeah, but focus on things that actually you're good at and do something about it. The thing you want to learn about yourself is the potential you have is different amongst everybody else. The potential you have is infinite, and in order to get your full potential is do things that are in alignment with your values, things that are in alignment with that are going to serve you and make you potentially happy. And that allows you to unlock another called layer of the onion that allows you to actually have more success because you actually stepped outside your comfort zone, you actually did something about it, and you learned something about yourself. Because the more you learn about yourself, the more you can achieve overall success and happiness. I hope this helped out. Remember, again, fear over action, 
Two, do things that make you feel happy. Three, challenge yourself. Fourth, what are you learning? So I hope you enjoy another live video of Ron Johnson Life Coach. If you want to follow me or you're in that place where you feel stuck, you're unsure, you can always find me under ronbusinesscoaching.com or on social media, Facebook, Instagram at Ron Johnson Life Coach because I'm here to help you and the best potential in your life. Thank you.